Today we're going to be looking at the evolution of Splatoon glitches starting with Splatoon 1 and ending on Splatoon 3. These are some pretty cool glitches so if you want to see them stick around. Hello everybody and welcome to Glitchtastic. Today we're going to be looking at the evolution of glitches in the Splatoon series. We are going to be starting with the first game which is Splatoon 1 which came out in 2015. So let's just get right into it. So for this first glitch you are going to be needing to have a copy of Splatoon 1 and you are going to want to stay in the plaza until you see these two inklings talking right here. It can be any inklings, not just these two, but you need two talking. If you don't have anybody there, just go on the gamepad, choose like the headgear, clothing, shoes, battle dojo, anything. It should refresh and just do that until you see them here. Now you're going to want to stand on either side of the left one, jump on their head in squid form. Then you're going to want to point towards the wall. If you do it correctly at the right angle, you should be able to just go right through the wall. This glitch is a decently hard glitch, so do not expect to get it on your first try at all. Just try and be as close to the center of the squid's head as you can when you're doing this. Oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, we've gotten the glitch. So from here, you should be inside of this giant block of grass. From here, just go right through the wall, and this is the edge of the world right here, this white line. Go past it, you will fall through the floor. So don't do that if you want to explore. So now we're going to be going to this direction, which everything behind, inside the white line has collision. While the floor, most of the walls don't. So we can see right here, there is a coffee shop right above us with a weird tiled floor which we are standing on. I don't see this texture used anywhere else, so it's kind of interesting that it's here. We can even see the back of the arcade squid jump game right there. If we look up, the, co the coffee shop isn't too interesting, so let's move on. You've got to go around this wall so that you don't clip back inbounds. And now we are able to go inside of all the stores. So here we have Krusty Sean's shoe store, which the floor goes behind the wall inside of a perfect circle. And then we have the hat store, which is right here, has a whole bunch of weird bookshelves that are very, very low poly. We have the clothes store, which has a whole bunch of 2D model t-shirts and stuff. And then we have the weapon store, which has very few 3D models, just this one really weird sniper. And a whole bunch of these things on the walls. Now it gets a little bit weird once we go into Decca Tower. First of all, we can clip the camera in here and see how it's all green inside. But second of all, Decca Tower is strange since if you go inside of it, there is collision on the floor, but not in the complete center. You can also get stuck in the spot where you're able to walk on top of inbounds. So I really don't recommend going towards Decca Tower. What we're going to do instead is we're going to go all the way back around and we're going to look at the other side right over here. So here we can see the wall still extends over here, and we can finally see the back of the amiibo box, since we couldn't before. And we can see that it is a normal Wii U amiibo box. It just kind of looks like the international version. We can see that it is the Inkling Girl amiibo box, and all the text is translated into Inkling text, even though we are never meant to see that. Now we're able to go into this direction. If you go straight, you aren't able to go through the wall, but there is a little bit of an extension. This is where the collision gets a little bit wonky since it's a little bit before the edge of the road is when the world ends. Okay, never mind. It is at the road where it ends, so we're still good. Now in here, we can go inside of this building, which is the Battle Dojo, and look at this weird textures. Got Wii U Pro Controllers, mainly white ones, a gamepad up there. More Pro Controllers. It's weird that they're wired since they're wireless. And we have that thing over there. It's probably more of the dojo. Now you're just going to want to dodge Spike by going up here into this building and around. Now we are in like the final building, which is this one right here. We're able to walk around. There isn't very much exciting stuff in it, but we can go in here. Oh, this is a Squid Sister spot. Okay. This is weird. This is a strange building to be looking inside. It's a lot of Turf War logos. Oh wait, this is the coffee shop. Oh, this is the coffee shop! Whoa! Okay, we're, we're inside the coffee shop now, that's cool. We can be the cashier, we can look at everybody outside the coffee shop. 
No one's coming in to get coffee right now. That's kind of slow for business. But right above there, there is the Squid Sisters place. You can actually get an aerial view of the sisters just like this. So we have Callie right there just talking to Marie. And then we have Marie right there. Okay, there. <laughs> We clipped the camera into their skulls. So we, we have Marie's head. Her mouth just spawns in when she's talking and disappears. Let's... What about Callie? Same... Looks like it's the same thing for Callie. Okay, that is very strange. Now once we get to Decca Tower again, the collision does get a little bit weird. It ends at a random point. And yeah, that is basically this glitch in a nutshell. It's an amazing glitch that lets you explore the entire city. So, I'll see you guys with the next glitch and game in the series in 3, 2, 1. Okay, and we're back with the next game and the next glitch of the video, which is Splatoon 2, which came out in 2017. So, for this glitch, you are just going to want to come to Sector 3, and you're going to want to come to Stage 15, since it's just up there and the glitch takes place here. Now, you're just going to want to break all the boxes. There should be one here, and there should be two along the walls right over here just about here and there should also be one here break all of them and we're ready to start the glitch now you're gonna want to come up here and use your roller you're just gonna want to jump off do an up swing like this so that it's like that so that it goes back now you are just gonna want to stand with him halfway on the wall and halfway not if you do that correctly stand in the right spot you should be pushed out of bounds which we currently are. So now you're gonna want to turn to the right, just like this, and now we're ready to explore. Just gonna wanna keep going slow and steady, since this is decently thin, and it is very easy to go back in bounds just like that. Okay, let's try it again. It does take a few seconds every time for the thing to come back. Okay, let's see the result. Oh, okay, that, that's never happened to me before, okay. That's pretty cool, being pushed out of bounds and then actually dying. Okay, there we go, we're back out of bounds. Once again, we are gonna be turning towards the death pit and not in bounds. Might wanna jump over the ink, because that's what seems to be causing to put us back in bounds. The easier way to do this glitch is to line yourself up with the wall like this. You're gonna want to have about half of you being covered by the wall and half of you not just like this if you do that right the glitch should activate and there we go we have actually gotten the other version of the glitch which is to be clipped inside of this block from here you can see all these weird lines which kind of resemble the octo expansion ink a little bit and we can see that all of these pillars and all the bricks have absolutely zero collision we we can even see that all of the ink is just staying inside of this wall you're still able to go into ink in this thing unlike some places in some other games and yeah you're not even allowed to throw bombs out here maybe you can curl through the wall nope what if we get one on the floor nope it just gets destroyed okay if you do want to go back in bounds, just hit the thing, back up a little bit, do that, you should be good. Okay, and we are back with all of the ink being reset. In order to do that, just go back to Inkopolis and you should be good. Destroy all the boxes with minimal ink on the wall like this. And now we are ready to do the glitch. There, we're all ready. Now we are able to go across here. We're on a little bit of a weirder angle, but that's fine. It looks like it's working. Just take it all slow and steady, and we can hopefully reach the end. There we go. Okay, we're at the very end. From here, let's see what we can do. Doesn't seem like there's much. That's the glitch, and that's the glitch that I've got for you guys for this game. So, I'll see you guys with the third and final glitch, and the third and final game of the video in three, two, one. Okay, and we're back with the third and final glitch and the final game of the video, which is Splatoon 3, which came out in 2022. So for this glitch, you are just going to want to come to the table turf area, and you are going to want to keep going right until you see this little ramp. There, you will see this air conditioning unit, and you will see somebody standing beside. If there's nobody here, just go into any of the shops or anywhere and come back. If they're standing there, you're ready to start the glitch. Now you're going to want to go into squid form, 
and you are going to want to go back towards the fan at about here, right in this area, pointing towards that line. You're going to want to make sure that your middle is at about that line. And if you do it correctly, you should be able to slip right inside the wall. If you don't get it, just try subtly changing your angle every single time. And that should help. Okay, and we are now out of bounds. If you keep going, you should be able to fall right through the floor. And that is exactly what we don't want to do. There is a little bit of area here where we can stay out of bounds and actually stay on the collision. We can clip the camera out of bounds so we can look around a little bit. We can see that there is a little bit of the highway under there. Looking at the bottom of the screen, we can see a little bit of weird stuff. We can see not much else actually. We can just see the side of the building, the back of the air conditioning unit, and that's about it. Now there is a jump that we can make onto the other side of collision that is right to which is what we're facing. This is a very precise jump. Oh my gosh, how did I just get a first try? Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that at all. That's crazy. There is a little bit of exploring that we can do over there. So let's try and get there. Okay, okay, and we've gotten the glitch again. We can try this jump. Wait, we got it. We got it. Okay, okay, we got it. Now we are partially out of bounds while still being in bounds. And we can look around. We can see that the floor on the side over there extends. And we can see that the shingle things extend all the way out with the blackened wall. We keep going forward. Just like this, taking it slow and steady. We can see some more stuff. Being mainly this thing. Being three separate objects and not just one big one. And over there, there's some pipes and stuff. Keep going. Okay, okay, we went back in bounds. But yeah, that's the glitch. It's a fun one to do. It's very, very hard to get that jump. But yeah, it's the glitch. And I hope you enjoyed this new style of video. I haven't done this before, so let me know if you enjoyed it. That's all the glitches that I've got for you guys today. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. On the left you'll see a playlist of every glitch that I've done on my channel, and on your right you'll see a video that YouTube thinks that you'll enjoy. See you guys there!